Betsy, I'm in, in the midst of dealing with a social media thing right now. And uh, so these groups or subgroups, um, or I guess uh, private groups, you know, there are postings in there and it may be misinformation or um, it could be factual information. But for some reason, people are prone to go to social media before they come to somebody that can actually solve the problem. So for us, it's, it's really just reinforcing that message with families. So if we do see something or somebody sends something to us, it's really reaching out directly to the family. Like, hey, we can work with you on this problem. Let's work through it together. Um, but we know social media is going to move way faster than us, whether we do this week because of a community police issue. We had to lock down one of our schools. We're very fast in doing that, but we're not as fast as social media. Right. So making sure that you know we continue to take our steps and then push our messages out, but not let social media change who we are and how we respond. People, I, I advise people not to lead through Facebook or lead by social media um, in that you're gonna react to everything that comes your way. So you gotta stick to your plan, you have to do your work, your investigation if it's one of those issues um, and then respond accordingly. There are a lot of things we won't put out on Facebook because it's not for commentary. We'll put it on our website as a statement um, and then it can go from there or so forth. But it's a reality. It's not going anywhere. So we just have to embrace it and, and work through it. A little tougher in a small division where, you know, you wear a, a ton of hats and you don't have a whole team that, that works through it. But it makes me a lot smarter in those areas.